The next and last area we'll look at is Silver Springs. Near its entrance, it has an entrance, a shopping area, and the boat dock where we'll pick up the boat. The entrance is very well landscaped over a swamp. These are the type boats that they use. And you can see the shopping area and boat dock we looked at during a thunderstorm. The springs themselves are very deep and they open up in little openings or caves that come out into the water. As the grass waves in the water, but it's all underwater, none of it's on the surface, it just looks like it. The gardens areas, which we next looked at, are very interestingly landscaped. At Silver Springs were all sorts of wildlife. I'm right here. God, Deborah liked to play and look at the parrots. And one even gave Deborah her something. Got a feather. And where did that feather come from? The parrot gave it to me. Which parrot? One of the ones. Goodbye. Goodbye, Deborah. Just a minute. Hey, baby. Ghosty. Deborah also liked feeding the giraffe. But by the time she was found and rescued out of it, now finally on this end down here next to me, this is Pugsley. These are little black vultures. Next, let's explore bear country. Yeah, this one got in the water. There are wild alligators everywhere. And they really don't even mind being out in the rain. But if you want to see gators from all over the world, you have to go to Big Gator Lagoon. about to attack. Oh, they're fighting. Look, they're attacking each other. Hey, come here. There's some more owl gators. Well, that's nice of him.
Next we'll be headed off on a very bumpy Jeep Safari. Won't see a whole lot though. Well, that's about all you had at the Kingdom. But the main attraction at Silver Springs are the boat rides. We'll take the Fort King River Cruise historical one first. All the boats have areas where you can look under the water through the glass. We'll pass an archaeological site where they're digging for a a reconstructed Indian village. And the word Cimarron evolved into Simino in order to build a fort. The year fort King was 1827. Itself. Reconstructed. Their fort was 162 feet by 152 feet in size. And it was this named after this morning. We're going to stop in and see. We'll even hello. visit a reconstructed swamp community and see rhesus monkeys that run wild in the area. But the main rides on the boats leaves from the main dock and goes through the main spring and on up the Silver River, which is crystal clear water. We'll board one of our boats and head off. <laughs> You'll be able to look through the glass bottom and see the animals and fish. Over 550 million gallons of water a day. It's enough water to supply New York City. They'll hover over springs so you can get a better look at them. Springs are just holes in the ground. That's an eight foot guard down there. The water's so clear. You can see the water bubbling at the bottom of this one. The areas between the springs are shallow. And this is the main spring. We'll then take a wildlife cruise and look at some of the wildlife in here. This is more of a bug. Water looking. Anyway, this grass is edible, and they say it tastes like celery. You'll see alligators and other animals. How do you measure a gator? You measure from between his eyes to the tip of his head, and they take We're heading it back to the dock. Waterway, and that's on the left side of the island over there. We were slowed down a little by the rain when a heavy thunderstorm came in. But we just sat and watched the weather and had fun. And that ends our Silver Springs adventure.